It's 7.30 on a Sunday morning, and four-month-old Mohi is being dressed for the most important trip of his young life. Hey, Mohideen. He's an active, delightful baby, doted on by his parents, Abu Arab and Um Arab Kawazbi. But little Mohi has two serious challenges to contend with. He was born with a heart defect that limits the oxygen in his blood. And his family lives in the occupied West Bank in Palestine, where poverty and decades of conflict with Israel have impacted all facets of life, including health care. Hospitals there lack the equipment and trained specialists to treat a patient like Mohi. <laughs> On this Sunday morning, the Kawazbis are on their way to take part in a rare example of Israeli-Palestinian cooperation. Their Palestinian pediatrician connected them to an Israeli program that performs heart surgeries on Palestinian babies. The program, called Save a Child's Heart, is based just outside Tel Aviv at the renowned Wolfson Hospital. The group helped arrange permission for the family to enter Israel. Still, at a security station outside the hospital entrance, Abu Arab is asked to get out of the car. After about 10 minutes, the family is allowed to proceed. Abu Arab greets the receptionist in Hebrew. We believe that we should do the best we can uh, to help other people in need, especially children. Israeli Dr. Lior Sasson is the clinical director and chief surgeon for Save a Child's Heart. No words or money can uh, describe the satisfaction of uh, let's say making a difference. And sometimes it's a difference between nations and people. On this anxious day, the Kawazbis are optimistic about their son's Israeli doctors. <laughs> In accented Arabic, Dr. Saji Asa does his best to explain Mohi's condition, drawing a sketch to clarify. <coughs> like most of Save a Child's Heart staff, Dr. Asa is Israeli, but the group has also started employing Palestinian doctors, nurses, and support staff. <laughs> the week of Mohi's visit, there are two other Palestinian infants in the heart ward, both from Gaza. For each of their families, the baby's illness added new fear to an already harrowing year. According to United Nations statistics, 2,200 Palestinians were killed in the war in 2014. More than 500 of them children. More than 70 Israelis were killed. And about half a million Palestinians lost their homes. Richard Wright is director of the United Nations Relief and Works Agency, which, among other services, runs health clinics for Palestinian refugees. This is a very challenging environment, but one which we're, you know, doing our very best to, to provide for the, the best health cover. Mohi's parents wait anxiously in a hallway above the operating room. When the operation is complete, the medical team transports their patient back to the ground floor. Abu Arab, beyond eager to see his son, runs down the hallway after Mohi's bed. The cardiologist shares the results of this morning's tests. The repair is complete. Mohi's heart is strong. He punctuates the good news with the Arabic phrase, Inshallah, God willing. A small gesture of respect, maybe, but a meaningful reminder that critically ill babies aren't the only ones whose hearts are being mended at Wolfson Hospital. Mm -hmm. 
This report was produced by Julie Cohen for the United Nations.